Okay, I'm logged into my Let's Go Learn account and I am ready to uh, start filling in the data review uh, in my PLATH for a specific student. So I'm going to scroll down. I'm assuming this part is already filled out. I'm going to go down to the data review section. Um, and first of all, I'm going to go to my account here and I'm going to find my student that I want to look at. I'm going to start off with mathematics. And if we look at mathematics for Natalie, and I know this is a little bit small, but uh, we look at her scores. Uh, we're going to make some judgments on what we want to focus on, right? So these are total, total scores, summative scores. I'm going to go ahead and jump into the SPED special education report for Natalie. And now if we look at these scores here, we notice that um, we have a total score of 3.7. She's in grade 7.2, um, so beginning of seventh grade. She's low in a few different areas. Um, she's lowest in data uh, analysis, right, 2.5. But numbers in our operations is still pretty low. 3.9. So I think I'm going to focus on numbers and operations because I know that um, that's really important and these skills are used within all the other um, the other areas. So it, you sort of have to make a judgment call. In this particular case, because these are some of these are very similar and even though this is a little higher than data analysis, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to come over here and say, I'll put in Natalie's name and then I'll say based on the data from Adam and we're going to go ahead and put um, she is currently at numbers and operations uh, 3.9 GLS. Okay, that's our grade level score. So now what I want to do is I'm going to go back into this and I, I have this selected. I want to start looking at some present levels, so some of our current skills. Um, if I wanted to have the TEKS standards codes, I could. I'll select that. And I'm going to include the GLSs in my present levels. I could put the standards if I wanted to, but for now, you don't have to if you want to, you just check that box. Hit refresh. Now what I want to do is I'm looking at all her present levels and I'm going to grab the strongest ones, the highest ones, because let's celebrate her strengths. So numbers, right, she's very high, really almost, ma I think it's a maxing that out, same with addition of whole numbers and subtractions. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and select those. So I'm going to move these present levels into my report. So let's go ahead and just say here, oops. And I'll put this first one in there. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and go to addition of whole numbers. We'll talk about what she can do. Three digit and four digit numbers with regrouping. That's excellent. And then finally, let's take a look at subtraction. So really, Natalie could subtract multi digit numbers with regrouping. Excellent. Put that in there. And the great thing is, remember, all of this data is accurate because when we say somebody has a specific skill, they've been tested with a set of items, right? So, so it's not just one question. It's actually a set that they've got mastered. All right, now we go back and we want to work, look on the weaknesses, right? So these are going to be where we want to target. So we're going to toggle to instructional skills. And I'm going to go ahead and look at three. And I'm going to hit refresh. Now, you want to make sure you have that GLS score listed there. Um, or at least you're going to look at it. So now what we want to do is we want to target the weaker areas. So what we need to work on next in these areas, you know, you could see what they are. I think what I want to target though, if I look at it, is, is division of whole numbers is a little low. The next skill she's supposed to be working on is 3.3. Natalie will use manipulatives to model division as the inverse of multiplication. So, you know, yeah, she needs to work on that because that's important. And the other thing is fractions. So I'm going to target these lowest skills. So two of these skills here are in division, right? And then also the one in fractions will identify equivalent fractions. So that's important too. That's a very important um, foundational concept. So we're going to target those three. So I'll go ahead and move this uh, instructional objective into my document, all right? And do this one right here. That's another division. And finally, we're going to grab a fraction, one, two. Okay. okay. Now, sometimes if you want, uh, it is nice to have a sort of an open doc. Like if you wanted to really manipulate these a lot, you could move all of these over into a blank document here. And then you could really just, you know, go to town, adjust it. 
you know, caught, uh, delete stuff that you don't want and, you know, really focus on what you want. So just be aware that's another technique is just to keep a, an open uh, Word file or Google Doc um, open on your, on your browser. Okay, let's go back over here. The next thing we need to do is we need to go into, into reading. So let's go ahead and take a look at Natalie. We're going to go to uh, Active Pulse ELA and we see Natalie at the very top. Now I'm looking at all her scores. So hopefully you, you understand these, you know, high frequency words, word rec, phonics, phonemic awareness, spelling, vocabulary, comprehension. Um, you can roll your mouse over to see the ranges of each. This green one means she's maxed out in phonics, but it's interesting. Natalie, uh, she's low in comprehension, but she's pretty strong in decoding and her vocabulary is, you know, it, it's so, so it's okay. Um, but it's interesting in decoding, She's maxed out in phonics, word rec is pretty high, but it's interesting that high frequency words is a teeny bit low. So assuming that this is correct, that she really maybe needs a little bit of touch up work on high frequency words, because I could be struggling. Like if she comes to a word that she doesn't know the, phon the phonics on, she has a hard time reading it. These are the irregular words. So maybe we do want to work on that a little bit. So it takes a little less cognitive load off of Natalie's mind when she's doing a comprehend reading, right? Because if she's constantly coming across words she doesn't understand, she's going, ooh, you know, she's struggling. So I'm going to focus on high frequency words and comprehension is what I want to do. So I'm going to go to the special education report. Um, so I'm going to say her present levels are going to be, I'll go ahead and put this in here. So based on the data from Dora reading assessment, she is at high frequency words of 3.5 GLS and comprehension of 1.5 GLS, right? So I put that, that's what we wanna do, we'll target that. Now let's take a look at her strengths. So um, we could list a lot of strengths actually. I, I like listing, so let's, let's, let's actually go to phonics to begin with and uh, here's a strength she can she, within phonics she can um, read longer multisyllabic words actually let me put the gls in there refresh okay she's maxed out on her phonics skill so i, I do want to celebrate that so strength now they can read longer multisyllabic words in phonics Okay. And then the next thing we want to do is let's go back over and um, other area you want to celebrate, let's celebrate um, word recognition is very high, right? So we'll like, go over there, word recognition. And uh, now they can identify common words read in isolation level up to 10th grade level. That's very good. So I'll put that one in there. I also want to do, uh, I think I want to do vocabulary. You know, that's still not bad. 5.5, that's solid, right? So we're going to do vocabulary as well. Okay, and uh, now they can recognize general vocabulary orally when level up to mid fifth grade. So let's, let's put that present level in there because this is all part of reading. Okay, now let's, let's, what we're going to focus on, right? I think what we, we said we want to focus because we did select high frequency words and comprehension. We're going to focus on those two areas. So we'll go over here to high frequency words, um, instructional skills. I'll just, I'll just put three, refresh. Now, right now, it's actually only one thing for her to work on. Natalie would identify automatically effectively all high frequency words with, that has a maximum range of high third grade. Really, that's the final step. So we're going to focus on those last ranges of high frequency words um, and that's going to help Natalie. So this is one area. Okay. And the next thing we want to do is we're going to focus on comprehension strategies, right? So uh, let's go ahead and select comprehension and we'll go ahead and refresh instructional skills. Okay, so the next thing we really want to work on, now we demonstrate comprehension strategy mastery when reading a passage level up to high first grade, and then we want to try to bring it up to a um, uh, passage of low second. So we're going to focus on these two uh, areas, right? That's what we really want to do. So let's go ahead and put that in there.
And obviously you may tweak these as well, right? You may decide, well, I'm gonna specifically, I could even get more specific. This is all about comprehension strategy. So if you wanted to, to list specific strategies, I'm gonna work on you know, author's purpose, I'm gonna work on some other stuff, but we sort of leaving this generalized. Natalie will demonstrate comprehension strategy mastery when we're reading a passage level up to about high first grade. So the good thing here is this is something that we can focus on and we can actually test on this objectively because later on when you wanna do your formative assessment, you just have to queue up a first grade passage, queue up a second grade passage, and if she has mastery, then we're gonna, we're gonna demonstrate that we've uh, met this goal, okay? Objectively in the system. Uh, so that's it.